it's going to sound like a real name dropper thing, but I Please. just I just spent the after, the morning on the phone with the guy who created the T-Rex for Jurassic Park. But Shut. That, that's for another day. No, that's for right now. No, that's for right now. And then we'll go into the movie that blew your mind the first time you okay, saw it. Okay, okay. What, what, how were you on the phone with him? So, you know, I went to animation school, right? Yes. And my roommate, Steve Williams, uh who obviously has the last name we we were roommates in college and uh steve had the foresight to recognize that uh, animation was going to be computerized eventually this is this is in the early 80s before any computer animation had hit but he he knew it was coming. He How had, he just he, he's a smart guy mm. and just knew that something else was going to have to. Yeah, I mean we knew we had heard it was coming, yeah. but but there was nothing there yet. And so on the weekends he would go into a community college and start kind of working on this stuff. And and he would come back on Sunday night back to our condo that you know me and two other guys shared with him. And he go, guys, you got to see this. You got to see this. And we're like, what? What? He goes, oh my god, you should have seen what I did. And and he'd put in a VHS tape for us. And for those of you who don't know what a VHS tape is, it's a VHS tape. Fuck <laughs> off. Um, and he'd put in a VHS tape, and there'd be like five circles on it, like yeah. a green one, a yellow one, a red one, a blue one. And we'd be like, okay. And then they'd start strobing. Like one would go off, another one would come on, and we we go. We go, he'd be so excited. We go, yeah. And he goes, well, this is digital. And I go, what do you mean? They go, it was it was done like through a computer. These are digital. And we go, so your circles that are going on and off are digital. Yeah, great. Yeah. You know, and so we kind of goofed with them and made fun of them a bit. And, and then when he got out of college, he worked at this place called um, Oise or Alias or something like that. Opus Anus? Yeah, Opus and Anus' uh, <laughs> digital <laughs> animation factory. <laughs> and I remember going in to see him at work. He goes, Har, you got to see this. You got to see this. And and he showed me like kind of like some undulating, like rippling water. And I went, okay. And I, I wasn't impressed. And yeah. then the next time I went in, he had like a, like a slug, like a, like a garden slug kind of moving along. And I go, yes. He goes, well, it's digital. It's not real. And I go, yeah, it looks digital. Yeah. And then the third time I went in, he had a hummingbird flying around. And I go, oh, this is really great footage. How'd you film this? And he goes, it's digital. And I went, you got to be kidding. Like, it, this hummingbird looked so real. And I went, you got me. And then next thing you know, he gets hired by ILM. And they're in the middle of production for Jurassic Park. And, and they're they're doing the dinosaurs, the old Harryhausen way. Remember the old Sinbad movies where everything was like yes. the plaster scene monsters? Yeah. So they'd already designed these monsters. They'd even started shooting. And Steve, uh, on his own time, built the skeleton of the T-Rex and and put it together, and they told him not to. They said, it's not going to work. Don't do it. And so one day when the whole gang was in his office, the producers and everyone, they came to uh, to check in on some stuff. Steve thought, you know what, I'll put my my walking digital skeleton of the T-Rex up on a monitor and just play it on a loop. And so during the meeting, some of the big execs saw it and go, what the hell is that? And he showed them. They took it to Spielberg, and it changed movie history. Oh, my He, he built the whole T-Rex, and unbelievable. So oh. from those stupid little circles to – so anyways, I was on the phone with him this morning. He just bought a new house, and he was taking me on a virtual tour, and – and he got attacked by velociraptors and died. <laughs> but he was, was pretty, but anyways, it's it's if if you watch, you know the the that series on Netflix, the movies that made us. Yes, the new one with Jurassic Park. That's uh, you'll see Steve. He's in featured it. in it. He's featured all the way through it. Yeah, awesome. it's a pretty fascinating story. Man, those are the things you never fucking think about. Who's the? Because that movie is. I mean, it's you know nothing without that. Without. The, I mean, it would have looked cool. It, w- it still would have had that kind of jerky. Like, you would have known it was, like, kind of plaster scene. Like, yeah, it would have looked like, I don't know if, if you remember in RoboCop when that, that kind of robotic thing came yeah. out with all the machine guns. Yeah, yeah. It looked great, but in the back of your head, you're like, okay, it's somebody's, it's stop motion. And what Steve did is he he 
got eliminated stop motion and made fluid motion wow. and you know you could you could texturize and you could make the eyes glow and i mean it's just you you saw it you know it's crazy so yeah that's uh pretty wild that's a cool that's a cool friend to have yeah i yeah. feel like the stories that you get from that guy at like a barbecue how do you introduce that by the way if you're steve just yeah. at like a friend's you know baby shower and like what do you do yeah how do you fucking i know it's weird i, go, I uh, created the t-rex yeah, yeah and they go fuck off and you yeah go, all right i'm gonna leave yeah this isn't the party for me i know it's it's interesting it, 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 it you know it's something that literally changed the face of of film <laughs> i'm still laughing at how fun that was uh, hey guys, Adam Ray here for the About Last Night podcast. Hope you enjoyed that little ALN highlight, that little freebie tidbit. If you want to see more highlights, clips, animations, and episodes, click right there. huh? Click right there and get all the free ALN goodies your heart can muster. And of course, subscribe to the show by clicking the ALN logo right there. huh? Do that. It's easy. See you next time. Peace. <laughs>